For this question, we want to determine the real solutions to the system of nonlinear equations. Our system has the equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 6 and y equals negative x squared minus 10x minus 12. So before I start solving, I notice that the first equation is a quadratic, which has the graph of a parabola. And the second equation is also a quadratic, which has the graph of a parabola. So if I draw two parabolas, maybe we could draw them this way, we can see that there would be two intersection points and possibility of two solutions. Um, you could also have the two parabolas maybe touching in a single point like this. And that would mean there would be one intersection point and one solution. And you could also have the two parabolas um, missing each other completely, maybe like this. So we could have no solutions. So for this example, we have the potential of two solutions or one solution or no solution. As I look at this example, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to attempt substitution or elimination, and I think the two are equally as easy. I'm noticing that both equations already have a variable solved for y. We have y equals, which is the first step in the substitution method. In addition to that, I can see that the variables, the like terms of y are lined up the equal signs are lined up, we have like terms of x squared lined up, like terms of x lined up, and our constants lined up. So this also lends itself very well to doing the elimination method. If you choose to do the elimination method, y is the variable that I would try to eliminate because you have two different x terms, an x squared term, and an x term, and it is really hard to eliminate both of them at the same time. However, you only have one y term, so you can eliminate that y. But I'm going to use the substitution method on this example. We already have y solved for. We'll substitute it into the other equation. And when I make that substitution, I'll have the equation x squared minus 2x minus 6 equals negative x squared minus 10x minus 12. This gives me a quadratic equation, and I want to move all the terms to the same side. So I'm going to add x squared on both sides, giving me 2x squared on the left. I'm going to add 10x on both sides, giving me plus 8x on the left. And I'm going to add 12 on both sides, giving me a plus 6 on the left. All the terms on the right cancel out. I have the equation 2x squared plus 8x plus 6 equals 0. It's a quadratic equation, and I'll try to solve this by factoring. All of these are even numbers, so I'm going to start by factoring out the greatest common factor of 2. And that leaves me with x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then I'll continue to factor that trinomial that's remaining. x times x is x squared. 3 times 1 is 3. And positive 3 and positive 1 will add up to be the middle of 4. We can set each one of those factors equal to zero to get solutions of x equals negative three and x equals positive one. So I might have an ordered pair where x is negative three and an ordered pair where x is one being the solutions to the system. I have the x coordinates and I'll try to find the y coordinates. I'll use that first equation of y. y equals x squared minus 2x 
minus 6. If x is equal to negative 3, then y is negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 minus 6. That's 9 plus 6 minus 6, and we get 9. So one of our solutions is negative 3, 9. Let's do the same thing with the other one. If x is equal to negative, excuse me, positive 1, it looks like I made a mistake there. It should be negative 1. If I solve x plus 1 equals 0, that's negative 1. So x equals negative 1. Then y is equal to negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 6. That's 1 plus 2 minus 6. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So the other solution would be negative 1, negative 3. We've got our two solutions to the system of nonlinear equations being negative 3, 9 and negative 1, negative 3. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.